Look how freaking cute this turned out. It's so comfortable. And no one seems to hold me like you do. Mm -hmm. You're so wonderful. A star could never shine as bright as you. Mm -hmm. They still see light Even the birds still sing at night Every word just comes out right When I'm with you, with you I feel so lucky I met you And I still um, can't believe that I get to See those eyes from more than tonight I swear you must have felt from the sky And I feel Lucky I met you It's not magical The way I feel when you walk in the room mm -hmm. When you walk in the room It's not optional How gravity just pulls me right to you To you mm -hmm. Even the dark they still see light Even the birds So in this entire clothes. I only found one problem, which is awesome. It was just on one of the sand sweaters, and the problem is that it does have a hole in it. Um, so obviously I'm going to contact them and see if I can return or exchange it, because there's no way I would ever sell this to someone. So I'm hoping that they will fix it. Otherwise I'll just have to eat the cost. I did also just get in my heat press. I am so excited. I bought off eBay for $81. Do you know anything about heat presses? They're expensive. The problem with this, it was from Better Stuff. The business was selling it um, as a new in box. I'm assuming it was a return, but they didn't have any information on it. Like, I didn't know what heat press it was. Didn't have what size it was. I went on their website and saw they mainly sell 15 by 15. So I'm like, cool, awesome, that's what I want. Um, I know for sure that's not a 15 by 15. It is smaller, so we're gonna open it and see what I got, and then I'll show you how much it would be if I had bought it like on Amazon. Okay, I never want to open up styrofoam packaging again because it is literally everywhere, it's all over my floor, it's all over my table. I'm gonna be cleaning for hours to get this all up, and this is just like what it looks like after I've cleaned up some. So we got it out. Um, and by we, I mean me. It's not at all what I thought it was because it's definitely not a clamshell like the picture showed. This is absolutely, oh, okay. Well, it was working a second ago. Interesting. Um, it is one that twists. Cool, wonderful. <laughs> it came with a bunch of extras. I do think it's been used. It is dirty. There's a bunch of like dirt on it. Maybe someone, took it out and then didn't want it and it's been sitting in the warehouse. I'm not sure. There was a spider in the package. Don't want to talk about it. It was dead though. Um, but yeah, it did come with a bunch of stuff. So I have no idea how much this is on Amazon. Am I guessing a couple hundred dollars? So we'll see. I hope I like, it. I hope it works and I hope that, um, I can get it to work and then all the parts are here. So I just got all of, well not all of them, I just got some of my DTFs I ordered. Um, I got them both from Etsy, one's my design and one is another uh, small business owner's design. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these out and then we are gonna do our first heat press print. And I'm hoping it goes well because then we're just gonna do all of them while my baby's sleeping and that way I can actually get it done, which would be, um, I'd be so proud of myself. So let's roll this.
things started happening when you walked away. So that's why I stay right here. Cause when all of my dreams seem so out of reach, your crystal clear. Freaking cute this turned out. Are you kidding me? I did not have enough shirts. I actually ended up with two extra uh, DTF transfers uh, and not enough shirts. So I just have the comfort colors t-shirt. This is their like boxy fit. I'll show it on. So out of all the shirts I did, one ended up just being a tiny bit wonky. So in my quality control portion, um, I have a shirt now. So here's the T. I have that kind of tucked in right now. So it's just a really cute boxy fit, but look at the back of it. I love how this isn't like a full length shirt because like what I would do and what I did have it at is I would just like tuck it in and like go to the gym like this and wear it. Obviously I wouldn't wear um, sweatpants to the gym, but I mean, this is a normal casual look. I hope you like this portion of the vlog. I'm just giving you the behind the scenes of like what I'm doing to prep for actual lunch day, which I don't even have a for sure date set. I'm hoping in the next like week or two. So I'll keep you guys along for the journey and you'll be there with me. So I love you and I'll see you soon. Bye.